the encounter with a person. It's an encounter with the embodiment of the love of God in history. And to say yes to that is what we mean by Christian faith. Jesus cannot be tied down or bound into one small, narrow, uh, little box. That the reality of who Jesus was, the reality of who God is, uh, is more than any human being can encompass and any human being can uh, uh, describe or any human being can even understand. That challenge of belief in Christ uh, could come from a preacher, it could come from a, a, a television program, it could come from uh, somebody reading the, the New Testament. There are all sorts of different ways that could start that, uh, uh, that acorn of curiosity, perhaps, to grow into the, the oak, to grow into Christian faith. Christ encounters men and women, changes life, changes mind, and brings hope. So that not for this world only, but for an eternal world, we are prepared and delivered. I wish that I had been knocked off a horse like Saul of Tarsus there. Um, it usually comes much more quietly than that. Uh, it comes about in the events of our lives through people we meet, through books that we read. Um, uh, it can come when we're quiet and reflective. It can come when we're flushed with success and suddenly realize uh, it's all empty. Is this all there is to it? And, and look for something deeper. Uh, there must be something deeper about who we are and what we're meant to do. Um, and uh, when you look for that, that's the thirst that Jesus um, aims to meet. You have to make up your mind, what, who do men say that I am? Who, who do you say that I am? Who is this Jesus? That, that's the question that he keeps forcing on us, just as he did on the road to Caesarea Philippi uh, 2,000 years ago. There's no getting around that uh, question. You have to make a decision.